But let's go back to the, up, the, the upper portion of the text. He proceeds to make it compulsory that the people should go by and follow his statements of understanding. And when there is someone who opposes him, according to him, he is an unbeliever. While the individual in question does not even have, does not have even one characteristic of the people of Ijtihad. Now, wait a minute. One characteristic. So he's saying that Muhammad Abdul Wahab does not have one characteristic of the people of Ijtihad. Do you remember the section on Ijtihad if you go back? How many conditions there are for someone to be, taqlid to be made of someone in this religion? He has to memorize the Quran, he has to memorize the Sunnah, he has to memorize the Arabic language, he has to understand the differences of opinion of the different scholars, he has to reach a certain level of knowledge, he has to do this, he has to do this, he has to do this. And when the person asked Imam Ahmed, if someone memorizes 100,000 hadith, is he a faqih? No. 200,000, is he a faqih? No. 300,000, is he a faqih? No. 400,000, is he a faqih? About that. So you don't even have a right to, taqlid can't even be made of you if you don't possess that level of knowledge. So this individual that he's referring to, he said he does not have even one characteristic of the people of Ijtihad. All right? By Allah, he says, indeed he does not possess one tenth while he is opening his mouth and speaking, speaking a great deal of ignorance. To Allah we belong and to him we return. The entire ummah speaks with one voice. And when this individual is not able to refute them with one word, he declares them all unbelievers or grossly ignorant. Now, to declare someone to not be a Muslim, okay, to say this person is not a Muslim, this is what is called, this is what is called, takfir, to declare that someone is not a Muslim any longer. 